should be having it. Hey, 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 my right. Wait, no, hey. no, 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 no. We got that fight coming up. You gotta beat it, bro. Buckle up, fight fans. We're about to drop some serious heat. We're talking breaking news here, straight out of the boxing world. Tank Davis, the fire-spitting lightweight champ, just got attacked by the legendary Floyd Mayweather. And get this, we've got the exclusive on Tank's first words from the hospital. Now, if you're not familiar with the viral brawl that broke out between Tank and Floyd and in Dubai, then just sit back and relax, cause we're about to cover everything. Mayweather was living it up in Dubai, soaking in the sun and luxury. But just as he was about to head back to the States, something wild went down at the airport. Picture this, Floyd, relaxed and ready to fly, suddenly spots Tank Davis. And if you think that's crazy, wait till you hear what happened next. Tank threw his infamous left hook, the same one that ended Frank Martin's career. Floyd got rocked. It got pretty heated between these two. This wasn't just any punch, folks. This was the tank's signature left hook. Floyd, who's taken on some of the toughest guys in the ring, had never been hit like this. The scene was pure chaos. And if it weren't for the security there, Floyd would be taking one long trip to the hospital. If there's one thing we all know about Floyd Mayweather, it's that his ego is sky high. No way he's letting Tank mess with him in Dubai and get away with it. Floyd's a mastermind, and when Tank crossed the line, Floyd made sure he paid the price. Floyd got hit once, so he made sure Tank got hit 10 times over. How? Floyd hired some guys to teach Tank a lesson, caught him while he was out on a run, the one time he was unarmed. Tank ended up in the hospital, and TMZ Sports was all over it. Floyd doesn't just settle scores, he dominates them. Now take a look at Tank's first words from the hospital after he was jumped. It was Floyd's guys, I've seen them before. They followed me to my hotel. Floyd's been spying on me for months. That old head can't walk up to me himself. That's why he's hired all these men. Floyd has messed up big time. I'm filing a case. Now that's as shocking as it gets. Mayweather spied on Tank and even shared his whereabouts with Tank's previous opponent, Frank Martin. Can you believe it? Frank Martin was the one who spilled the beans. But Floyd didn't stop there. Oh no, he went even further. We all know Tank Davis and Floyd Mayweather worked together for a long time. If there's one guy who knows all of Tank's moves, it's gotta be Mayweather. And guess what Floyd did next? He outed all of Tank's moves to Frank Martin. That's right, Floyd gave away all of Tank's secrets. And let's just say, Gervonta Davis was not too happy about it. You know he the one, you know he the one told Frank that I was running at five o'clock, I mean seven o'clock in the morning, Friday. He told Frank that, he was giving Frank tips and stuff like that. I seen his people's uh, drop by while I was uh, running. It's cool. It's, it's all right, you know? I don't really think too much of it. He's not gonna hurt me, you know what I mean? So it's, it's good to be with him than be cool with him because he can do some crazy stuff. He'll pitch you in bad situations. Gervonta Davis just dropped another bombshell from his hospital bed, and what he said flips the whole story upside down. I didn't even attack him in Dubai. He got in a brawl with someone from my team. I was the one who separated them. Floyd loves to twist things and play his angle. If he wants smoke, he can come get it, cause I ain't playing no more. While Tank was fighting for his life in the hospital, Floyd took his sweet time playing the victim. Now, Floyd being Floyd, tried to take control of the narrative, claiming he's always been there for Tank, helping him every step of the way. He went on to say that it's always been Tank taking shots at him and disrespecting him. Floyd painted himself as the victim, insisting that he's only ever had Tank's best interests at heart. Now we all know that's nothing but Cap. Whoa, 
my thing, my thing is I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And, um, but over the years, it's constantly going on the internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful, constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. Well, that's funny. Floyd says he's been there for Tank. So what about the fact he tried to get him arrested? I don't know about you guys, but that doesn't sound like helping to me. And it gets worse. Want to know why Floyd got Tank locked up behind bars? He got Tank thrown into jail because he found out Gervonta Davis was sneaking around with his ex. Yep, last time I checked, dating someone was not a crime. Floyd is as petty as they come. Floyd even joined forces with Tank's biggest enemy, Shakur Stevenson. Yep, Floyd and Shakur are putting in the work together in the gym. Now with those two in the same room, you just know they're plotting something against Tank. Now, if you're wondering why Floyd has become anti-Tank all of a sudden, here's why. Gervonta Davis recently revealed that he's landed a deal way bigger than Floyd. Now we know Floyd's ego is always through the roof. He's not going to stand by and let anyone outshine him in the industry. Set you off because he was like, I gotta do that. A lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. He said So you feel like it was a sub, like he was subbing you like, oh, he, like. He, that, he was going at me. Mm. He was going at me. Yeah. And I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. There's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah. That's you know? what I was thinking. Cause it's been, I feel like y'all, y'all got, I would say love, hate, but it's been like the last interview you showed them love. This week it was whatever. But is that sometimes like, you know, is it just like big bro, little bro seeing things different or what is it? You? No, it just, it, Floyd don't never, he felt as though I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm at that point where I thought I passed him. Mm. And, I, and I'm doing it at a young age, wait, like, when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, you'll see, bro. Yeah. That deal that I'm talking about? Yeah, oh, that's that the, yeah, deal, that's the part that's of the deal. deal. He, he don't know about that yet, mm. but that's bigger than his deal. Damn. Wow. And y'all just, and I'm just releasing it. <laughs> that's exclusive, that. that's yeah. exclusive. Bigger than Floyd deal? Yeah. Tank don't cap, nigga, that's a lot of bread. You'll see, it's okay. gonna come out. Adrian Broner gave his word to Tank, promising that if it ever comes down to a brawl again, he's got his back. That's right, Broner is ready to step in and support Tank if things get heated once more. You know, and when me and Tank go at it sometime, he'll look at Tank and say, yo, listen to him, man. I'm good. What's your thoughts on Tank and Floyd going back and forth, man? I let two grown men handle their business, but they know whose side I'm on if we gotta go there, though. <laughs> <laughs> Trainer of Gervonta, Davis, Calvin Ford, broke his silence on the beef. Ford made it pretty clear that karma is gonna get to Floyd Mayweather. The other thing I wanna touch on is the Floyd situation. You know, Floyd is Floyd. That's like I say, tank is tank, man. But at the end of the day, you know, the man is chasing greatness. And you should be supporting that. I always tell you that. You should be supporting that, you know. It's a rocky road that we said what's going on. Just pay attention, man. The story is gonna reveal itself, you know, but again, that's how you burn bridges. Uh, somebody said, they say the true colors of a person that's coming out, man. They can't stand it, you know, calm is it. I, mean, I, I don't like using that word calm, you know, but our Lord knows, he knows, he knows, he knows. Ford didn't hold back, dropping a major bombshell. Floyd Mayweather got tank hurt because they were on the brink of finalizing the mega fight between the two. Ford claimed that Floyd, knowing the showdown would expose him, decided to play dirty. He couldn't handle the thought of getting embarrassed by Tank in the ring. 
so he took drastic measures to make sure the fight never happened. Floyd resorted to some seriously nasty tactics to keep this blockbuster bout from ever seeing the light of day. Tank had already hinted he was gonna fight Floyd in September. But hey, Floyd took the fight outside the ring because that's his best chance to beat Tank. A new deal, seven fight deal, which is music to the ears of many boxing fans. You get to see you in action for several more years. What type of names are we talking about on those seven names? Uh, whoever you name, they could be in it. If I name some fighters, can you say yes or no? Yeah. Shakur Stevenson? Yeah. Ryan Garcia? Yeah. Devin Haney? Yeah. Isak Cruz? Yeah, but there's two people I already beat already, but yeah. Errol Spence? Outside of ring. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. September. No. Tiafimo Lopez. Yeah. Out of all of those guys, who do you think is the most difficult opponent for you? Floyd Mayweather. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.